What's up, studs? Welcome back. This is probably going in 2023. Hit that like button because today we got real UFO sightings and alien abduction stories. This is going to be good because the first clip is about the sun. Let's check it out. Something around the sun. Our first bizarre clip of the day comes directly from NASA. On April 19th, 2022, an enormous... You're telling me NASA revealed this? No way. ...identified object was seen hovering near the sun. There is no way NASA would reveal something like that. Damn, that has to be something massive. And the fact that it was this close to the sun? Because it's like million some degrees there. Uh, the object probably looks more. as though it's draining plasma directly from the surface of the sun. It looks like a dragon. Whatever kinda. it is, it remains in place for several hours, then just speeds off into space, leaving no trace at all. Could it be something Interestingly, else? Interestingly, 10 years prior in March 2012, a similar object was spotted near the sun. Could it be something else? Maybe something coming out of the sun? It what are too your thoughts? It appears to be drinking plasma from the sun. What are your thoughts? What you thinking? Because it this then is speeds like... away into the darkness of space. This? Oh my god, yo, it has to not be the sun, Some it has to be something else. the size of the object to be several times larger than planet. Because initially I was looking at this right here, right? Like these little things coming out. Maybe I was thinking, what if this is like, uh, like the sun rays or something like that. I'm, I'm not getting the correct term, so don't be like, bruh. But it was probably something coming out from the sun. But then you see this little shit right here that actually takes off and this goes with it. It is as though it was capturing energy or taking something from the sun, right? Planet Earth. Nah, man, there has to be something else. Naturally, as the two pieces of footage went this. viral, many have speculated it might be an enormous alien mothership refueling. Counter arguments wondered how an object that big could possibly move through our solar system without being openly detected. Some commenters said that an alien race might be billions of years ahead of the human race in terms of technology, and it's quite possible that we can't even fathom their appearance. So perhaps they move freely around the universe and we're just unable to detect them. However, I want to know, I wanna know your thoughts on this one, right? Like either we're alone or there's someone out there or either we're alone or we're not alone. Somebody said this, I don't know who said this, but either we're alone or we're not alone and both thoughts are equally terrifying. And when you think about it, it's quite true because if we're really alone, then damn, we're really alone. But if we're not alone, then we're not special and we're like, hey, who's out there? Like how many civilizations out there? If there are, I do believe there are, but what are your thoughts? His official statement called the event a prominence. A prominence is a large bright feature that extends outward from the surface of the sun. It's made up of hot plasma, which is a mixture of charged particles and is held in place by the sun's magnetic field. They can sometimes erupt and release their plasma into the solar atmosphere, a phenomenon known as a coronal mass ejection or a CME. CMEs can have significant impacts on That's what I thought initially, but then you see like that round ship thingy going away. Like then I was like, okay, now it has to be something else. Earth, including disruptions to satellite and radio communications, and can sometimes even lead to auroras at high latitudes. So what do you think? Are we just witnessing a so-called prominence or is there more to this bizarre sighting? Let me know your theories on this one. Yeah, th this one right here, it's just way too bizarre. I don't think it was the moisture from the sun. In the comments down below. But I thought that initially because you see this little thing, but then it's like it goes away. Like it was uh, almost as though somebody like someone just went away, you know? Jim Sullivan was a singer-songwriter who's best known for his 1969 album, UFO, which features his most famous song, Genie's Getting Married. However, despite his talent and success as a musician, Sullivan mysteriously disappeared in March of 1975. Damn. On March 4th, 1975, Sullivan left his home in Venice, California to drive to Nashville, Tennessee to further his music career. He had recently signed a contract with a record label and was planning on recording a new album. However, he never made it to Nashville. On March 7th, Sullivan's car was found abandoned in the desert near Santa Rosa, New Mexico. The car was in good condition and there was no signs of a struggle or foul play. It was the aliens, man. It was the aliens. Eh? Hey, Sullivan's wallet with all of his identification was found in the car, but there was no sign of Sullivan himself. 
Despite extensive search efforts, Sullivan was never found and his disappearance remains a mystery to this day. So he Some never theories came suggest back? he may have become disoriented and wandered off into the desert where he eventually died of exposure. Others believe he may have been the victim of foul play, but the most intriguing theory suggests he may have been abducted by aliens. <laughs> Sullivan's Yo, I don't know about this one. This is like way out there, but I feel like that we're living in a day and age where a lot of people believe stuff like that is happening or can happen. But if you talked about this stuff like tw 10 years ago, 20 years ago, nobody would believe you. No, like people would make fun of you, right? Uh, you hear stories like that 50 years ago, whenever you would talk about like UFO and stuff, you would be ridiculed. Uh, I feel like the open dialogue and talking about stuff openly and openly and having conversation about both sides is actually pretty healthy and it's pretty good. But I, I still believe that that's like really far out there, like thinking that it was the aliens and the alien abducted. I, I feel like that it's quite out there. That's like still like exaggerated, but I wouldn't doubt if that's actual if this story is real or because I heard this. I saw like a video from Joe Rogan. He interviewed a person, I'm not, I don't remember his name, but he has probably some of the most uh, authentic case of being abducted by aliens. The album, titled UFO, features lyrics that seem to predict his own disappearance and repeatedly refers to aliens and UFOs. Close Bruh. friends who knew Sullivan best noted that it was strange his guitar was left in the abandoned car. They said that if Jim was to go anywhere, it would be with his guitar by his side. I think he just did it to himself. He did it to himself. He just disappeared when some uh, somewhere out disappeared and made people believe that it was the the aliens who abducted. I think in this case, but I could be I could be wrong. wrong. We're gonna see. Despite exhaustive searches, no evidence of Sullivan was ever found. It's as though he wandered into the desert and simply vanished. Mm. Creepy. That's creepy though. Okay. In mid-2022, Reddit user Corian was in Kandersteg, Switzerland when they spotted something mysterious floating through the sky. Take a look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Look, 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 look at that. That's like a <laughs> broomstick, kind of. Yeah, I have no clue. At first glance, it almost looks like a person floating through the air. Look at that. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, I have no clue. Over a series of short clips, the OP and his... Uh, the, government, the government would be like, a Chinese lantern, Chinese lantern, that's a Chinese lantern. Friends speculate on what the object might actually be. Oh, no. Glitch in the what? Matrix? What? What the f***? <laughs> Their reaction seems genuine too, though. Um, yeah, man, it's just floating mid-air. The group monitored the figure for over an hour, but were at a loss to explain the strange object. It's probably a shivava, like, floating around, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Probably a shivava, let's be real. Who let the dogs still photos the OP managed to take. Yeah, dang. Yeah, what if it's like a... When the clips hit Reddit, speculation ran rife. Everything from aliens to a floating superhuman and even a man wearing a jetpack was suggested. Iron Man? Maybe More it's an Iron Man. theory said it might just be a Mylar balloon or some kind of wind sock captured in the breeze. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think this mysterious bro, object could said, actually be? Bro, if you said it was a Chinese lantern, I would have believed you more, you know what I'm saying? But I, I suck it or whatever bull squash you said, I don't even know, bro. Let your theories rip in the comments down below. Nah, man, that's definitely the UFOs. That's the aliens, bro. Has to be, has to be, has to be. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, probably. On September 21st, 2006, NASA thoughts? released a still image that was captured in space that no one's been able to fully explain. A strange white object can be seen floating through space. It almost What's looks that? like a jellyfish in the ocean. Is this like a brand new Apple charger, like Apple charger 2024 Bruh. or something like that, that you gotta pay like extra to get? Looks like an Apple charger that you gotta buy. Uh, outside of uh, your phone, right? Because nowadays they don't even give you those motherfuckers don't even give you a charger. It, uh, that's what I heard, but um, they might give you now. I don't know. I have Android. The man. photo was taken Android. by astronaut Daniel Burbank at around 11 a.m. on board the space shuttle Atlantis. NASA's official statement said it could possibly be some sort of small debris, but ultimately they couldn't say for sure, leaving the object unidentified. 
It doesn't look like so a what debris. Do you think this could be, be a strange white veil just floating through space certainly piques one's interest. But yeah. I'd love to hear what you think it could be in the comments down below. It looks like an apple charge. <laughs> But no, I mean, it doesn't look like a debris though. It can be, but it doesn't look like it. This next one's been duplicated. Its titles altered and details changed numerous times over the oh, years. Damn. So it's hard to pinpoint where and when exactly it was captured. What? But what it's captured is certainly eyebrow raising. Take damn. a look. Yo, what the, that look crazy. Is it going down? He must have zoomed in so badly. He must An have zoomed in like object crazy. appears to be spinning in midair. Or maybe it's not it's even going down. It's a rusty brown color and it all. Maybe it's staying still and the fact that he has zoomed in so much that his hand would... Because if you have zoomed in a camera so uh, big time, then just your slight movements of your hand will make it look like that. The, the camera is moving like crazy. So it's probably that and it's not going down almost looks to have a flashing light in the middle of it. Yeah. That's very odd looking. It is as though like now it's opening up. Unfortunately, the footage is shaky, and that's because the object appears to be extremely far away. Yeah. We can see this when the camera holder eventually zooms out. Yeah, uh, it's basically- The object basically... is a mere speck in the distance. Yeah, I mean, thankfully he zoomed in. That's probably, if this is, I really hope this is not fake because, you know, that's the first thought. Like, probably CGI, I probably faked it. But if this is not fake, this is probably a good one. Yeah, the, the quality is not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's kind of, and he zoomed in and we got a really good, we're getting a really good look at that. It's moving and he zooms in all the way. He's doing the best he can, right? I know it's shaky, but, but at that zoom level, people they go crazy you don't even see the thing the fact that we're able to see it that's crazy yeah now we're getting those moments very shaky. Oh, now it's moving. Kid managed to stabilize the footage for us to get a better look at here you can see minute details that were previously impossible to see oh shout out to that man oh damn there's also some Bro, this reminds- I don't know why it this reminds me of Man of Steel. To have been shot. It reminds me of that thing in Man of Steel. You know, uh, before the parents died, they, they send that little drone thingy. They put their kid in that, like a spacecraft, right? Like, uh, like a ship, Bruh. like Bruh. I know, I know. And they send it to Earth. It looks like that. ...in Spain over five years ago. But there's also a version of the exact same footage that claims it was taken in Denver, Colorado. It's going away, right? It's moving. With the titles and location changing, it does cast a little bit of doubt over the authenticity of the footage. But nevertheless, yeah. it's certainly a striking piece of video. One that does make you wonder whether aliens could indeed be surveying our planet. Yeah, it's a re very good footage, but again, man, it's like, is it is it real? Is it fake? Thoughts? Any NASA scientists watching this video? Let me know, man. This next bizarre sighting comes from a webcam overlooking the coastline of Encinitas, California. Take a look. Underwater object. The USOs, they call it, right? The USOs. Yeah, I see it. Like right here. It's like a fireball. The footage was captured in May 2020 at around 10.30 p.m. Brother. In the water, you can see a flashing light. It moves several meters and appears to fly out of the water. It then hovers in place and flashes some more before disappearing entirely. Yeah, it has to be the USOs. They call it underwater, unidentified, submerged object. I believe that's what the definition is. It's basically UFO, but underwater kind of, right? On a side note, you can also see some nice bioluminescence in the waves in the foreground. Yeah. Yeah, those waves kind of big, man. So what's to be made of this unidentified flashing object? Strangely, the webcam was taken down the following day and this piece of footage was scrubbed from the archive. What? What? Th then it's real. Then it's real. Has to be real. It has to be real. Interestingly, there have been several notable UFO sightings off the coast of California. 
One well-known example is a series of UFO sightings that occurred in 2004 and 5, known as the Nimitz Incident, in which yeah. several US Navy pilots reported encountering unidentified flying objects while on training exercises off the coast of California. It looks like, a, it feels like a miracle they revealed this footage, but it's so old, I've seen it so many times, man. I need to, like, can a brother get new footage, like, straight from the government that's, like, legit, where we see, like, a colorized, like, I want to see a color, uh, hit that like button if you want to see, like, a full-blown, like, real video from the government, 4K, 8K, color, I want to see the colorized version, not, like, this black and white, like, yeah, we've seen it a billion times already, bruh. But it's a miracle that they revealed Then in this. 2019, the US Department of Defense released a number of videos that showed encounters between military aircraft and unidentified objects. Man, if this video was only in 4K and color, it would have been crazy. But I get it, like, uh, they're trying to... The, the camera is on the... ASAP. The videos, which were recorded by pilots using advanced sensors and cameras, show objects moving at high speed. Advanced sensors, but certainly not advanced cameras. <laughs> but oh, look look look. Not advanced cameras, but I get it. It's like, this is more of uh, being able to see things clearly and easily. You see a black object and it makes it very easy for you to see through that. You might have missed it if it was like real camera taking shots. I totally understand that it's a... Uh, they're trying to have thermal vision, black and white vision, night vision, whatever. Like, I get that, I get that. But I'm talking, like, a real footage. Like, can a brother get, like, real colorized version, too? It's in performing seemingly impossible maneuvers. Here you can see an object flying at high speed before it descends into the ocean. Mm. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep, the, yep. The USOs. What was splash? Splash. Splash. The Department of Defense stated that the videos were released in the interest of transparency and to clear up any misconceptions about the sightings. So why is there so much UFO activity Bruh. just off the coast of California? Bruh. Several commenters explained that they believe there are secret alien bases hiding in our oceans across the globe. This isn't a new theory, however, as many UFO enthusiasts- I honestly do not doubt that because there was a video that got recommended to me that I've seen where there were some Russian divers uh, that actually witnessed like some beings underwater that were not from this planet. And that story is quite like big actually. And I saw the video and I was left like, okay, might actually, this can be legit. And the fact that we have this real video from the governments showing them, uh, showing these objects, <clears throat> these UFOs going underwater, I wouldn't doubt about, I wouldn't doubt if this theory is legit. Because after all, is it like 95% or 70%? I'm not sure, but 70 or 90%, 95% of our oceans are completely unexplored. We do not even know what's down there, right? That's, that's an alien planet of itself. And if, I don't, I feel like there could be, there could be, there surely could be. have speculated that aliens may have been living in our oceans for years. Back in 2014, a series of bizarre lights was spotted off the coast of Malibu in California. Shortly after the sighting, ABC7 News interviewed paranormal expert Jimmy Church, who claims he's found a reason for the strange lights in the sky. Using Google Earth satellite imagery, Church discovered a strange oval-shaped object in the waters off the coast of Point Doom in Malibu. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen this clip. Uh, maybe from Security Team 10, I think. Back, uh, back he believes in the day. this could be some kind of alien base secretly hiding some six miles off the coast of California. Where? Like this? 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 I don't know, man. It doesn't... I believe I've seen a video from Security Team 10 where... So do you believe in aliens? I remember seeing, like, similar stuff. That was a lot more convincing because you saw, like, a ship. But this one? I don't know, man. I don't... And if so, do you think they're already here, hiding in secret underwater bases deep beneath the sea? Love to hear your take on this in the comments down below. Thoughts, boys? I don't see anything here. Maybe it's this one he's talking about or this one? Before we take a look at a famous alleged alien abduction case that took place in Mississippi, remember to hit that subscribe button then, hit tickle that, that little bell icon there and hit turn on all channel that notifications. Like. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Yeah, same here, man, same here. Hit that like, man.
Hit the bell. Hit in the 1973, bell. in Pascagoula, Mississippi, something truly strange happened that's never been fully explained. According to the two men involved, Kelvin Parker and Charles Hickson, they were fishing on the Pascagoula River when they were approached by a UFO. Mm. The UFO was described as a football-shaped object with blue and white lights, and it hovered about three feet above the ground. Three feet? As the UFO approached, Parker and Hickson claimed they were paralyzed and unable to move. They then reported that they were abducted by three humanoid creatures with lobster-like claws and slits for mouths. Okay, so this happened back on October of 1973. They were six feet tall. Those are like what? Those are fingers? Those are like fingers uh, or schlongs coming out of their eye holes or some like bumbaka? Okay, I, I'm not meant to disrespect, but. The creatures allegedly took the men aboard the UFO where they were subjected to a series of physical examinations and medical procedures. The men claimed that they were released by the creatures after about an hour and that they returned home in a state of shock. They Man. reported their encounter to the local authorities who launched an investigation into the alleged abduction. I really hope they were not violated in a bad way though by that. One hour, that's too long, man. That's way too the long, The Pascagoula bro. abduction gained widespread attention in the media and it remains one of the most well-known UFO abduction cases in history. However, the incident heard. has also been the subject of much skepticism and debate. Many people have questioned the credibility of the men's claims, and some have suggested that the incident may have been a hoax or a hallucination. The bizarre thing is, when the two men were detained for questioning at the local police station, the investigating officers placed the men in a room on their own and listened in on their conversation. Mm. The officers thought they would hear the men talking about how it was all just a big joke. Instead, the men appeared frightened and kept discussing the alleged alien abduction amongst themselves. They asked each other what had happened and tried to piece the whole thing together. Despite the controversy surrounding the case, the Pascagoula abduction continues to be a fascinating topic for many people. This is my first time hearing about this. I've heard a lot of cases, like I heard that school, like I heard like Australia as well, uh, Africa, where in Australia, I believe there were a lot of kids that saw like UFOs land and some beings coming out of it. And then the US uh, Australian army kind of took over that. And those kids described that as is when they saw that years ago and now they are old and they're still saying that we witnessed that i i heard stories about like the uh, the africa thing as well i i don't know the exact terms and the exact titles but i have not heard this one and it serves as a reminder that the universe is full of mysteries and unexplained phenomena yeah it is and ladies and gentlemen click on this video on the screen man because this video is very bizarre very bizarre click on it and i will see you right there